Hello everyone, this is Rotractor Dhaval Gohil. And this is Rotractor Harshi Majani. Welcome to episode 9 of Secretariat Talks Season 2. Today we have with us the amazing Secretariat of Rotract Club of New Delhi, RID 3011, Rotractor Himanshu, the Secretary, Rotractor Parinishta, and Rotractor Kushan, the Joint Secretaries. So guys, please introduce yourselves and tell us your one favorite thing about Delhi. Okay, so beginning with me, I am Rotarian Rotaractor Himanshu Gulati, the current secretary of Rotaract Law of New Delhi. I have been a part of Rotaract since last four years. And I wish to continue it further. Let's hope for the best. I am currently working as system engineer at TCS and best place in Delhi. Okay, I'll say Gurdwara Bangla side because I like the vibe there. Okay, I'll go next. So, hello everyone. I'm uh, Rotractor Kushan Mendiratta and I've been a part of Rotract Club of New Delhi for about three years now. This is my third year. And uh, I, per se, I have been a part of the Rotary movement for the last seven years, including four years of Interact at school. So, I have been connected with Rotary for about seven years now. And I think it has been a beautiful journey and I hope to continue it with Imanshu, I think, for the next years as well. And uh, I'm currently in the last semester of uh, my graduation. I'm pursuing BBA from uh, Maharaja Agdasen Institute of Management Studies uh, here in New Delhi. And uh, the one thing that I love the most about New Delhi has to be its food. Hands down. I think Parinishta will agree the most right now. Yeah, definitely. Okay, yes. so... I yeah, I know that. So I'll introduce myself. I'm Rutrakta Paranishta Bhalla. I have been in the Rutrak movement for around six years now. I joined the club in 2016. Um, and I am pursuing my master's degree right now and I'm still in the first year. And I definitely agree with Kushan. The best thing about Delhi is his food. Okay, so let's start with the Q&A session. The first question is for you, Himanshu. Why did you choose to be a part of the Rotaract movement and what made you apply for this position of secretary? So I heard about the Rotaract movement motto, the ITSL development, and I always wanted to develop myself. The main reason why I joined Rotaract in 2018 was self-development only. But with time, as I started growing, as I started to explore new things, now the motto has shifted to a greater cause that is like helping others to grow. Uh, moving forward with the second part of the question, well, that is funny because I didn't apply for the position of secretary ever. <laughs> so I got selected for the same because the appoint appointing council found me to be better than others for the position because of the good knowledge of Rotary Rotaract road that I have or the good administra administration that I showcased to them in the past years. But since although I didn't apply for the position, but I am glad to be serving for this because it gave me many opportunities to grow. And the plus point was I was the very first secretary elect for that year. So it was a great spotlight. That's great. So the next question is for Kishan. What's your secretariat mantra for this year to achieve consistency and success? Okay, so uh, I think there has not been a mantra per se, but some instincts that I follow. Basically, I think I have a, a good connect with the people around me. I have tried to be as much, you know, open as possible with the directors of the club. So, you know, keeping up with the reports of each and every event, keeping up with the deadlines of each and every event so that the director knows that, you know, something has to be done in the secretariat team. They have to do it at some point. I have tried to uh, connect as much as I can with each and every member and having that you know, same kind of connect with within the secretariat team so that if I need some kind of a help, they are available at that point and likewise. So 
they not as a mantra per se but yeah just a good level of coordination you can say that's amazing the next question is for you parinishta could you share any funny or memorable anecdote which you experienced in your secretary tenure till date okay so uh as we all know that when covid happened everything went like online and i was one of the people who used to crib about like having in person events and ki kya ho raha hai online nahi karna kuch bhi but wo ho nahi paya tha us time pe and then when thing and at that time even my career side direction was not decided but last ten years se um, when things started to go into like in person mode i had to move away i had after a couple of months of the ten years so i am here thousands of miles away um and uh, the person who used to like crib about in person events actually can just attend online events up so that is kind of funny and the memorable thing of this tenure we are trying to make it work but yeah so himanshu what is your favorite part about working with prashan and tanishka okay so i'll say the personalities of all of us the difference in personalities i'll basically say because uh, like when we took the interviews for the position of joint secretaries and the co-team so these guys proved to be the best ones out of the lot because on one point parinistha is very calm she can handle stress very easily and handle tough situations very easily on the other hand koshan is one person who is the go to person for everyone he can connect with everyone so this was a good part about them and what i liked mostly about it what was the favorite part was they kept these qualities throughout and they have grown and they have outshined themselves throughout the year that was really interesting the next question is for you kushan how do you deal with reporting deadlines pressure I think uh, Himanshu should answer that question for me since he is the one who gives me those deadlines. But yeah, I think uh, see what I've tried to do this year is something of uh, that I've tried to do in almost each and every aspect of my life dealing with other deadlines as well. Like there are college deadlines, there are the project deadlines as well. So what I tried was mostly I failed in that. But what I tried was that I kept personal deadlines before the official deadlines of myself. so like if imanshu has given me a date deadline of let's suppose 28th of the month i'll keep a personal deadline for myself at 25th of the month so that i have that gap of period where you know i can uh, cover up the work even if i had not completed it so 50% of the time i failed in that deadline the personal deadline of my own and uh, 50% of the time i could do it other work if i couldn't i pushed on to parinishta ki aap kar lo yaar main to nahi kar raha so she was there for that help but yeah i think that's how we did it yeah it's actually helpful so parinishta what is your favorite part about uh, being a road tractor okay so i don't have one favorite part because i i think for me the whole journey has been my favorite part because as i mentioned i've been associated with road track for 6 years i was very shy and introvert and i did not talk to anybody initially so i was very very inactive for like 2 to 1 and a half years initially but then when i actually started talking to people attending events and i made like great bonds with the people of the club and great friends and i used to like i Still do I love going and you know having fun with the Dhanak kids. It's one of our flagship projects. So we have a doctor slum and we celebrate events and we teach the kids at that slum. So that I think the whole journey has been my favorite part. That was amazing. 
So now we have a special segment that is the fun part. Today we are going to play who is most likely to. So okay. I guess you guys know already this game. So first question is most likely to finish reporting way before the deadline. Imanshu. Imanshu. Definitely. Imanshu, Imanshu. definitely. Hands it up. Most likely to play the bad cop when the directors do not finish uh, reporting on time. I think all of us. But mostly one. Mostly, yeah. but yeah, he we all can take a bullet. Okay, who is most likely to panic when something is not going right? I just have to say. I don't. I don't panic myself. I was also going towards Parishtha. I can, yeah, I can, I can, but yeah. Sometimes when things go over the top, anyone can. But she handles that very well after it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Most likely to give a false reason for missing a road track event. I have done that multiple times. I have also multiple, done that at times. Multiple occasions. I have done that too. I think all of us have done that at some point. And I think from all of us, most likely person, I think I would call myself. I have done that a lot of times. And sorry much. <laughs> okay, who is most likely to be the person who completes the road track journey, like from road track to Rotarian, and be in the journey till the end? Hey, man, she was already a Rotarian now. Yeah, and I think I will do at some point in life. Even Kishan is because he is he wasn't tractor nor a road tractor, and he will turn to Rotarian someday. Okay. He will step into my shoes very soon, I guess. <laughs> he already has the experience of a joint secretary. Yeah right. <laughs> okay, so today we end our session here. Thank you so much, Himanshu, Parinishtha, and Kushan to be here, and thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.